So we're doing some physics problems. What do we want to find here? Well, it says what is the skater's acceleration? So we want A, and it's probably a good idea to write the units, meters per second squared. What do I know? Well, she increases her velocity from 2 meters per second, so that's her initial velocity, to 10 meters per second, so that's her final velocity, and it takes her 3 seconds to do that. What physics equation would put all this together for us? Well, that's the acceleration equation with the final, the initial, and t. And how do we actually do that? Well, let's crank it out. Plug and chug. 10 meters per second minus 2 meters per second. I like to put parentheses around there so I don't mess it up. Over 3 seconds equals 8 meters per second in three seconds. Put in the calculator we will get 2.7 that's rounded meters per second squared. Another one. Car starts moving at 32 meters per second and stops in 2.8 seconds. It stops, that's the key, that tells me that its final velocity let's put that all the way down here final velocity is 0 meters per second, so watch out for that. We want to find acceleration. Again, I'll put that in meters per second squared. Its initial velocity is 32 meters per second, and it takes 2.8 seconds to do that. What formula? Same as last time. Acceleration equals V final minus V initial all over T. Plug it in. V final is 0 meters per second. The initial is 32 meters per second. And the time is 2.8 seconds. That gets me 32 meters per second over 2.8 seconds. Using the calculator, get 11. Acceleration equals 11 meters per second squared. Next problem. Catapult on aircraft carrier gives an F-14 jet an acceleration of 37.5 meters per second squared. So we actually know the acceleration this time. It gets the just from rest to 75 meters per second. So rest, the initial, my bad, equals 0 meters per second. And the final 75 meters per second. So how long does it take the jet to get up there? So we don't know the time. We're looking for seconds. Looks like the same formula will apply. Acceleration equals V final minus V initial over T. How do I get this? Well, this is a little tricky, so watch yourself here. Meters per second squared equals 75. I just realized I made a mistake on my previous problem. It should be negative because that's decelerating. Negative. Hope I fixed that properly. Sorry about that. 37.5 meters per second squared equals 75 meters per second minus 0 meters per second over T. I'm going to do a little bit of math first and then I'm going to do something that I just learned in my handy dandy math class. We'll put that over 1, 75 meters per second over T, and I'm going to do the Jimmy Neutron and cross multiply. Could just solve it, but it seems like it helps people. So we get 37.5 meters per second squared times T, and that equals 75 meters per second. Divide both sides by 37.5 meters per second squared, which just shockingly happens to be half of 75, and I get t equals 2 seconds. So that's pretty fast. 2 seconds to get up to 75 meters per second. That'll rack your brain pretty good on an aircraft carrier. Another problem. Accelerates. 
9 meters per second squared takes 3 seconds. It starts from rest, so the V initial is 0 meters per second. That really only leaves me the V final, which will be in meters per second. Same formula. And let's go to it. 9 meters per second squared equals 0. Pardon me. V final minus 0. One more time, yes. Over 3 seconds. Like before, I'm going to rewrite it. 9 meters per second squared over 1 equals V final 3 seconds. Now you could cross multiply, but in math class I learned if I want to get something off the bottom of the fraction, I just multiply by 3 seconds on both sides. V final equals one of the seconds cancels. Doesn't really matter. I know what I'm doing here. 27 meters per second. That's a pretty quick cheetah. I will leave these for you guys to practice. But these problems are the F equals MA problems. So, you know the mass. Two thousand kilograms. We apply a net force to it of forty two hundred newtons. We want to know what the acceleration is. And that's in meters per second squared. So the formula for this is F equals M A divide by M divide by M A equals F over M. A equals 4,200 newtons over 2,000 kilograms. I don't need to know how to mess with the units because I know it's going to work. As long as I keep it all on newtons, kilograms, and meters per second squared. A couple zeros cancel. 42 over 20 is 2.1 meters per second squared. Another problem. What net force? We don't know the force. And that's going to be in newtons. Accelerate a skier whose mass is 68 kilograms. Width. To a rate of 1.2 meters per second squared. That's F equals MA. I don't have to mess with it at all. Plug and chug. 68 kilograms. 1.2 meters per second squared. Bust out the calculator. Get 82 newtons. And yes, I did round that. Last one we'll do. Now elevator requires a net force. It gave us that. Acceleration. Did not give us mass. We know that's going to be in kilograms. Looks like F equals MA. We want to get M alone. So we get M equals F over A. M equals 4200 newtons over 2.4 meters per second squared. Calculator. We get exactly 1,750 kilograms. If we were still rounding, we would get 1,800 kilograms. Notice I don't have to worry about the units because the newtons and the meters per second squared all take care of themselves. We know we're going to get kilograms. That still leaves you a few problems to do. Get kicking on them. I'll give you some more to work on on Tuesday. Good luck.